Starting live. All right, we are back. It is time for quarantine cuisine, folks. Uh, sorry about last week, you know, there's just uh, a lot going on. So uh, we are back. Uh, episode what, nine? Eight? Episode nine. Awesome. Well, Donna Cyrus right here. She's uh, she's ready. Right oh, boy. And got my sweet flamingo shirt on, thanks to Shelby and her stitch fix. Very, very classy. Very. Alright. I get to see my long hair. Backwards. Oops. Why wouldn't I put it on backwards? Sorry, my wife. <clears throat> yeah. So, today we're gonna make uh make one of my favorite things to eat as of late. It's called pho. It's a uh, Vietnamese dish. Um, usually containing a broth, a bone broth, and uh, meat, veggies. You don't have to have meat. Uh, you can make it all vegetarian if you want. So we're going to do um, steak and shrimp. Mm. Um, we do not own the rights to the weekend's music. Nope. So first things first, we're gonna drink. Woo! I got I found this last bottle of Bourbon County. What do we got? It's about I think it, oh 13.5 percent alcohol. Dear. So these are the world's best bourbon beers. If you've never had one, you gotta try it. Oh, that's plenty for start for me. <laughs> it's like mo it's like nice. motor oil. <laughs> Mmm. Right. Whoa, man, this smells so good. Okay. <coughs> so, start, I got the, uh, I got a nice ribeye, big ass ribeye, and I slice it really thin. You can see it. And then I have to separate like the fatty pieces with the meaty pieces, because sometimes you can go and get just piece of pad in there because they like to eat it like that. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. So what I what I did first is I took all of our dry like uh, aromatics. We got our cloves, a red chili, <laughs> red chili flakes. I got some uh, Thai chili peppers, star anise, uh, cardamom pods, coriander seeds, and cinnamon sticks. Mm. And then we toasted all of them in the pan. And then browned our bones. Mmm. So we got some beef bones. How long did this take? About an hour. Just it could sit in here and simmer for hours. Mm. So we got some nice beef bones simmering, and then all that stuff I showed you is now in there with some garlic and ginger. Lots mm. of ginger. And then we got some water. Reducing water over here. Alright. <laughs> okay. This should be a pretty quick and easy uh, recipe if you want to take the time to prep. Um, I also got brown sugar in there, a little hoisin sauce, a little soy sauce, and I threw one whole jalapeno in there for a little Ooh, more heat. Okay. So you're going to get some sweet heat out of that. Now, when you get pho at a restaurant, they usually give you a plate like this. You get basil, some jalapenos, and limes. Sometimes they put cilantro on there. If you want cilantro, that works too. So what I'm, what I do when you get, when you get at the place, is they cut it really thin. Mm. So we cut it really thin. Uh, I wonder what Emily's drinking. Emily, what you got? <laughs> she said she can have a drink with us this time. Finally pooped out the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that technique, everybody. So cut them nice and thin. And then uh, I already got a bunch prepped up here. And limes. If you don't know how to cut a lime, I just I can't. I can't help you. <laughs> I mean, um, so also in there I got uh, one thing of beef broth, and then I fill that back up with water again. So it's one-to-one -one ratio. 
even though we got the bones and stuff and all the other herbs in there for one. So now we're just waiting for this to boil. This is ready. I mean, mm. Basically all we're gonna do with that, we'll take this and we'll dollop it in here, we'll strain it because of all the herbs and stuff that are in there, you don't want to eat yeah. it all. But you get, you get a nice clear bath. Oh, hey, man. whoa, easy, easy tiger. Easy rod, easy rod. Here. Oh, oh. My dad, my dad hates that part. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also got some super soft boiled eggs. So hmm. they put, they either get hard boiled eggs and they put them in there, or you get soft boiled and put a soft boiled egg in it and you just break the part hmm. inside the foss. So we're doing the soft boiled, which is kind of hard to do because it's really hard to shell. We're not completely cooked. Oh man, that is some good beer. Drink break. Drink break. Oh, this egg's, it's almost a consistency of syrup, it's so thick, mm. oh, but it's so Ooh. good. Okay, oh, let's see, let's, um, oh, and yes, we also got the shrimp. I got the pre-cooked shrimp tail on, I mean, it's, you can get the raw, but we're just going to put them in the last second. Okay. Uh, they don't really need to be cooked. And then, also, when you go to a pho restaurant, so you get your, you get your dish, you know, on the table you'll have, some hoisin sauce. You'll have a uh, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and sriracha. Oh, all right. Uh, we'll just do a little that. sweet or a little spicy, savory. Yep. And you can put more jalapenos. You can put more uh, sriracha in there if you like it hot, which mm -hmm. I do. And it's already got a little heat because of the peppers. Get out of there. So now we're just. All we're doing is wait for the water boil. I got some uh, Vietnamese uh, pho noodles or rice noodles. Rice noodles. Yep. Um, there's so many different brands. I got this kind. I mean, you can get any kind. Okay. Um, so, just to get get ready. Water is boiling. So here's another trick too. If you don't want to fish it out. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. So we'll let that cook for about two or three minutes. Um, they don't take long. They're pretty much pre-cooked. Got to get them heat, heated up. What do you think, Harris? What do you think? So what I'll, what I'll do once we get that going, we're going to put our noodles in. We'll put our broth in. And then we put the beef in after everything's in there because it'll so this is gonna, you know, this has got a pretty good boil going, so it's hot. It's gonna cook the meat because it's cut so thin. Mm-hmm, okay. Same with the shrimp. The shrimp's already cooked, so. There's a lot going on there. Mm. Ugh. smell a vision folks. Yes. One day, one day we'll have it. <laughs> Did Black Mirror do an episode of that yet? They, uh, they quit because real world's too weird. <laughs> <laughs> At least they took a break for season five. <laughs> no, I don't know how things can get any weirder, but yeah. Oh, see that good. Oh. Okay, so let's get our uh, let's get a garnish out. So this is gonna garnish again. Basil. I prefer sweet Thai basil, and that's what you'll usually get. But this is or uh, not sweet Thai Thai basil. This is sweet basil. Which, is that from here? That's from out there. You know, we got a little. The little, the little plant rack. It's raining out right now, which is kind of nice. It's storming. Maybe we'll get a crack of thunder. Yeah. So, that is... Give that another 30 seconds. Mm. Yeah. This is going to be good. So... I went to my first restaurant today, sat down outside, had a meal with my dad. And That's great. Had beers, that was awesome. Uh, I don't know where everybody else went, but I went to the Old Piper Inn and it was fun. Just nice to go out for a change. For sure. <laughs> Been a minute. Been a minute. Okay, so this is probably done. I don't know what everybody else did. Like, I was trying to think of where, where the first place I want to go to eat when I can go out to eat. and Yeah. I'll probably go to Quang's and get some pho. Mm. <laughs> so, our noodles are done. So now, I'm going to take 
our sauce. Mm. I don't have a big ladle right now. I used to have one, but it broke. So, it doesn't take a second, but it won't take too long. Again, we're just going to strain all that, all them ingredients that we put in there, all the herbs and spices, and all that goodness is going to get strained out. All right, are we there? Just about. A couple more spoonfuls, folks. All right. We are there. So now I'm going to take this over here. Did spill a little in our plate. Okay, so now what you can do is take some of your beef, start swimming it in there. And this is why you cut really thin. How hot is our water still boiling, basically? Oh, it's still boiling. So, you can, and if you want, you can put these little fat pieces in there. You don't need them, but some, like quaints, you can get like the beef fat in there, which I actually like. Hey, Iris. And then, we'll take our soft boiled egg. That's gonna go in there like that. Take a couple of our shrimpies. Stick those in there. And then I need to grab some chopsticks. We got a little spoon, big spoon, not a little spoon. And then... Uh, mmm. Okay. So. Hell yeah. And then, uh, usually it'll, it'll sit in the hot tray or the under the hot, you know, the heater for about a few minutes. Ooh, that egg's cooking again. Oh yeah. So, usually what you do when you get it is you take your basil and you rip a bunch up. Throw some basil in there. Do you gotta slap it to aromate it? Aromate it? Oh, you can. You slap it. It kind of releases the oils. And I find that slapping it does better than yelling at it. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I take a little squirt of lime. Mm. Uh, throw a couple of jalapenos in there if you want. And I. I like to put a little bit of everything, so some poison sauce. Kind of sweetens it up a little bit. Soy sauce. You know, love soy sauce. Don't need a lot. Classic Kikoman. Yep. The choice sucks. So, <laughs> I don't want to hear people's shit about, like, Miracle Whip's better than mayo, so. <laughs> so, throw a little bit of that in there, and then, um, mm. you know, stir it all up. How long should we, should we wait for the meat stuff to cook? Uh, yeah. I mean, usually wait a little longer, but I mean... Oh, can't get it. Come here. Like it's... Oh, it's already, yeah, browned up. I mean, it's done, huh? Mm -hmm. Too okay. hot. <laughs> and that's why you put the boil, get the water good and boiling. Um, and then here, let's, let's break that egg apart. I'll show you what we got going on here. So oh yeah. Kind of a soft boil inside. Yeah. And yeah. So that's fa people. I mean, really easy. The prep work takes longer than cooking it, really. And you can get pre-made stuff at the store. Yeah. Um not really easy to find them. Down here in Minneapolis we got like loads of Byerleys or uh, um, Whole Foods or all those nice markets where you can get it, but I haven't really seen it in a cup, but you can get it pre-made. Actually, I found it at high V today, but I didn't get it. I made it myself, so. So, we can, um... I better do my bite. Here. I already got you. Thank you. So, 
and you can get a little broth. This can be really hot. Mm. Got shit on me, huh? They're good, but this is good. Gotta get a piece of that beef. Mm. Simple and healthy if you want. You know, you don't have to do beef. Like I said you can do all vegetables. Mm. And so, That's mushrooms good. In here. Actually, and another thing I do put on here is um, um, bean sprouts, but I really don't like bean sprouts. Um, so I didn't buy them. <laughs> But yeah, I mean that's simple. Any uh, anybody can really do it if you uh, if you want. Um, do we have any questions? Yeah. Do Let's we have see. Questions? Dan Powell. Oh fuck, bud. <laughs> 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 Wants you to do a dance. Uh, boy. I ain't got. I ain't got no bruises. Couple haze to Iris. Uh, yeah, it is quite good. Fa. And Emily is having a truly lemonade. Oh, awesome. Start with claw. You know they eat a lot of <laughs> claws. Everybody knows this. This has been pregnant for nine months. Emily says she had a lot of. It must have been a craving thing, the beginning of a pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What kind of beef? Um, oh, it was ribeye. So I took a ribeye, and I got. I got them. It was about that freaking thick. Mm. About two and a half, three inches thick. And Did you get a deal or something? Uh. <coughs> kind of, sort of. Okay. Um, and then I, I kind of, like I said, I divvied it up. I took the fatty parts and separated from the meaty parts and sliced the meaty parts thin. Because, like when, like I said, when you go to a, mm. a farm restaurant, they will put things like beef tendons, which I actually like too, but even the... Good even for the, your bones. Good good and good for you. Even the beef fat. I, I love it. Mm. Mm. It just melts them off. Mm. Um, but... If I got a thin steak, it's a lot harder to slice. Okay. Thin. Um, so a thicker steak's a little easier. That's why I got like I still got like half of it in the fridge. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, this is one of my like new favorite dish dishes. I believe it was Gabe, our neighbor, that introduced us to Queens for the first time. <coughs> yeah. And I've been mean, going there ever since. Mm -hmm. So um, next week might be interesting. Um, I'm going to be returning to work at the distillery. Oh, good. Over at Royal Farmer Craft It's a good thing you've been keeping your uh, bartending skills in practice. Yeah. Um, and with the regulation be looked a little bit, uh, we'll be in, we might be indoor or outdoor, I'm not sure yet. But next week's episode might be a uh, different timing. Oh, okay. Um, but we'll see. And then next week I might also have towels. Oh, hell yeah. For sale. Merch, everybody. Merch. Um, Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. I might set up just to have people, you know, we'll put your, Yeah, we'll put your Venmo info on it. Um, and I just might take free will donations and I'll either hand them to you or, or Sweet. send them. And maybe find a good cause. I don't really have one on the top of my head at the moment. I haven't looked into it. Sure. But maybe whatever if we raise for selling towels, I'll cover just a few costs I had on it, which is that would be cool. And uh, let's see. I'll even show you guys. A, you got the image mock up. I do. I so here we go. It's pretty simple. Let's see. Oh, uh, we didn't go too too. Oh, hard. I like it. <laughs> the chef had a little bit. Uh, I think people will enjoy it. So everybody needs a dish and towel. That's that's another shout out I gotta give to is our boy JP Zuni at East Bay. Very that cool. Guy, he's uh he's doing a good good thing for us in that. Um he's out in Reno though, but if you ever need any printing done, you let me know and I'll hook you up with him. Very cool. We got a few more here comments. Uh, Emily says the old Piper and Blaine, they have the best breakfast. You need a ladle for your ladling. Did, did I not say that? I said that. I said it broke. Do you eat pho with the tendons? Yeah. Okay. Yes, all the tendons are my favorite. Spank the basil. Spank it. Spank it. Like I said, you gotta spank it because yelling at it doesn't work. Uh, hey, Jordan. 
Merch, yeah, everybody's excited for the merch. Uh, we'll hopefully have that figured out here sooner or later. Yeah, it might be here next week, it might not be, but um, open to private messages and suggestions on the chair. We'll just write up uh, your DG at Venmo or whatever. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll maybe try to ha you know, add a link Or to add it to the uh, screen or something, yeah. Um, anyway. Hey, I did. That is, uh, we are through our comments. Yeah. We're done cooking, ready to eat. Ready to eat. I am starving. That's so much it looks so freaking good. I had to go to Target to buy a bowl, because when you get fly, you get a big bowl. Yeah. And we didn't have any big bowls, so I had this. Not really a bowl, it's more of a serving dish. That's good. It looks fancy, right? It looks like a meal for two. Mm-hmm. Me and Wayne are going to share. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm glad you guys are here. I'll be safe, you know, again. Keep those, keep those bellies full and keep the hearts full. All right. See you guys.